We are coming up on the most wonderful time of the year, standardized testing. We get standardized testing throughout the year, at least at our school. We have a lot of uh, retakes in the fall and they continue through the winter. And now we're getting back to uh, a lot of the uh, standardized tests coming up here in the spring. I'm gonna give you some pro tips on how to manage this so that you're not going insane. It can be incredibly frustrating trying to teach and having scores of kids pulled out of your classes. It could be anywhere from a couple of kids to three quarters of a class of kids. In addition to um, some teachers get pulled to proctor. So all of these things can be incredibly disruptive to your lesson plans. But I'm gonna show you a little trip I kind of stumbled upon through COVID. Um, during COVID, I learned how to teach virtually, as did a, a lot of veteran teachers. And I've continued to use that as a tool through today, and I find it incredibly useful for dealing with standardized testing or students who are frequently absent. What I do is I post my lesson plans online. I've been doing that for probably a decade and a half of posting my lesson plans online because it allows parents and students to determine what they've missed when they're absent it makes my life a lot easier so that when a student is out and they say, hey, what I miss? I say, go to the lesson plans. I don't have to explain everything to them. After they read the lesson plans, if they have further questions, I can dig into it. But I took it a step further in COVID in that I put a lot of assessments online, specifically into our grading software, so that when a student takes certain tests of mine, it's automatically graded and the grade is posted within seconds. And this is incredibly useful when uh, students are out for any kind of a period of extended time or if they're being pulled for testing in this case. So I'll walk you through really quick with our software that we uh, use here in Seminole County as to the best way to do that. Here is the student view, parent view of my lesson plans. If you want more detailed lessons with learning goals and object, uh, objectives, I can share those with you. But this is what I post for the students and the uh, parents out there. They can see the week. So they, if they're absent Tuesday, they know we had a, a lab. If they're absent Wednesday, they know we watch these YouTube videos and visit these websites to learn about salt marshes. Thursday and Friday, these are the tasks they need to complete. They need to go on to Skyward and take their assessment. That's going to be graded automatically. And they need to complete these different tasks over here. And so if they're absent for testing, if they're being pulled out for two days, it's easy for them to catch up. If they're out sick, it's easy for them to catch up. So I post these lessons to uh, eCampus so that the parents and the students can view them. Here is a view of my grade book. Our software allows us to actually create assessments inside of it that are automatically graded. It makes my life so much more, more structured and a lot easier during testing, and it will help you as well. So think about creating some short quizzes and assignments that the students can complete online. And there's usually a randomized button that randomizes the questions, making it more difficult for students to cheat. So you can see over here, I've got, uh, here are the questions. We've got questions over here. Uh, this particular question is one of the benefits of the salt marsh. And um, over here are your answers. Student goes into the assessment because they've uh, been doing this all year. It also helps if you have a substitute. If you're out sick and have a substitute, uh, the students, you can tell the sub, just uh, have the students go online, take a look at the lesson plans, and complete the assi assignments online. So if you're a teacher, Keep being a hero. Have a great school year. Talk to you soon. Thanks for your time.